You see these? These are the district standings of every high school football district in the state of Texas, UIL public schools, all the way from 6A all the way down to Class A, the six-man variety. I pour over these notes every week, and in this particular week, it's even more important to pour over them. You see, we're now into week 10, or is it week 11? It depends on who you ask. Yes, it is the 11th full weekend of high school football across the state of Texas, but remember that each school can only play 10 regular season games. There are buys, obviously, thrown in. So week 11 on the calendar, week 10 on the schedule. And what has week 10 always meant to me? Well, it's meant what it's meant to a lot of folks. The chance for a lot of schools to get into the playoffs, a last opportunity to make that last-ditch grasp of a postseason spot. And nowadays, with four teams going out of the districts in the 11-man bracket, it makes for some even crazier things, but maybe not the craziest of all time. You see, we've all heard those stories down through the years of teams tied for a playoff spot and coin flips in the air to decide who gets there. These days, they seem to go by point differential, positive points. For example, in District 25-5A, there's a battle for the final playoff spot between Leander, uh, Dripping Springs, and Georgetown. Basically, the winner of Leander and Dripping Springs will get in. Georgetown can get in by upsetting Vandegrift and getting some help in the form of Dripping Springs beating Leander, but it's more than likely the winner of the Leander-Dripping Springs game is going to get that four spot. You see, there's point differentials involved in all of that. Well, there was a time when point differentials really didn't even exist. It was down to coin flips. Maybe if you read Friday Night Lights, you heard about that famous three-way coin flip on the truck stop in Big Spring on a windswept cold Friday night, the final night of the regular season when you had Odessa High, or rather Odessa Permian, Midland High, Midland Lee do a three-way coin flip, and a coin rolls under a table, and they scramble for it, and then all the drama that Friday night, Permian gets in the playoffs along with Midland Lee, and then Mojo rides all the way to the state semifinal round. Well, That's not the first time that that's happened. It's happened in other times. In fact, four years prior to that, I was witness to one of the more unusual types of coin flips. You see, it wasn't a three-way flip. It was a four-way trip. And that four-way coin flip happened at a truck stop in Decatur. At the time, in 1984, I was a, a young college student. Well older than some, but still trying to work my way through college and then as now enjoying high school football. But I got a chance to bear witness to a four-way coin flip between Denton High, Richland High, Wichita Falls, Ryder, and Sherman. Since they were coming from four different areas, they agreed to meet at a neutral site, a truck stop in Decatur. So all these four coaches come charging into this truck stop wearing their warm-ups of their various school colors on a Saturday morning and all these patrons looking up from their bacon and eggs and coffee and wondering what in the heck is about to go on here. You see, there were two spots available and there were four schools flipping the coins. So this is what they decided to do. They would flip the coins in the air. If two coins came up heads and two came up tails, the two that were heads would be in and the two that were tails would be out. If three came up heads, the one that was tails would be out and then they would flip one more time with the odd coin being out. So the head coaches stood right by the tables, right in the middle of the truck stop. And at the appropriate time, the one, two, three, they all tossed their coins into the air. They go up, they land. Denton High's coin immediately came up heads. The Broncos were in. Also, Richland High's coin came up heads. So there was two there. The third coin that went the way of Wichita Falls Rider came up tail. So they were automatically out. And the fourth coin for Sherman High hit the floor and rolled under a table. Immediately, all four coaches dived to the floor, crawling on hands and knees, going underneath to try to find out Who was going to the playoffs? How surreal a scene on a Saturday morning in November after all of the weeks of hard work, two-a-day practices, games on a Friday night, and now it comes down to four middle-aged men crawling around on their hands and knees on Formica floor looking underneath a table to see the result of a coin. The coin rolled, and it flipped up tails. Sherman was out along with Ryder. Denton and Richland were in. See, there was a crazier time and place for that. Nowadays, maybe point differentials aren't too crazy. Whatever it is, week 10, week 11, enjoy this final week of the regular season of Texas high school football.